Is it real skins or synthetic conga heads? We'll try them both out and talk about the pros and cons coming up. Hi, I'm Kevin Zahner and welcome to Rhythm Notes, a channel with a lot of videos about conga drumming, drum set, and other popular percussion. I haven't been digging my synthetic conga heads lately. They used to sound great with little effort. Now they're rather dull no matter what I try with when it comes to tuning. So it was time to switch to something new. I chose steer heads made by Manito Percussion. It was tough to get all three heads because of supply chain issues, so I bought the Quinto and the conga heads. The tumba is on its way. The heads didn't fit well the way they were shipped to me, so I consulted the Minido website and I learned that a little bit of water, warm water, in the head for about 30 minutes would help fix the problem. The heads were actually more difficult to put on the drums after the water soaked for 30 minutes, so I, I got them on though and tuned them about halfway like the Minido Percussion website had recommended. After two days of drying, I cranked them up and couldn't get enough. The tone was restored to my drums. I used to believe that synthetic heads were the better choice, but I'm not convinced since purchasing some new rawhide for my drums. This shift in opinion got me thinking about the pros and cons of real versus synthetic heads. Real skins provide better tone quality. I don't know the physics behind real skins and, and how they produce a better tone than synthetic heads, but I prefer the tone quality of real skins almost all of the time. Real skins are not weather friendly. As moisture changes, the real skins can loosen and tighten as the air becomes more damp or dry. This means you need to be selective about which gigs you take them to and it helps to be a little patient with the heads once you get there. A friend once told me that real conga heads uh, need time to adjust to the room before you crank them up and start tuning. Let us know in the comments what type of head you prefer, real or synthetic. Real skins feel great. There's something about the real skins that it just feels better on my hands. I don't know what it is, and maybe it's just me, but it's enough of a difference for me to be differently inspired than when I play synthetic heads. These heads require a lot of maintenance, and when the heads are dry, they need some oil like lanolin or palm oil or almond oil, which isn't really that big of a deal. Uh, and for some people, you might enjoy rubbing the oil on your heads, which is also good for your hands. When I apply the oil, I actually put it on my hands first and then rub it on the head as evenly as possible. If you want free lesson PDFs and other perks from Rhythm Notes, subscribe to my newsletter, Rhythm Insider, at rhythminsider.com. You'll get a free gift when you confirm your subscription.
The synthetic heads are weather friendly. They don't change much when transported from dry to humid air, which makes these heads ideal for live performances. The synthetic heads still need to be detuned when you're not playing them. Uh, I recently did a test on my Remo new skins. I've been detuning these heads for years, really up until this last year. I knew that I was replacing the heads, so it wasn't a huge loss for me if the synthetic heads were negatively affected, and they were. Uh, the tone quality plummeted after I chose to stop detuning them between practice and, and performance sessions. And, and this happened in a consistent environment. The synthetic heads produce brighter sounds, so that, that could cut through the mix and um, you know loud rhythm sections uh, easier than when you're playing real skins. Some of the synthetic heads tend to ring more than the real skins. This can be annoying to some drummers, but there also could be a positive thing to consider in, in that this ring often uh, helps congas cut through in a dense mix. So this is really a soft con because it depends on the situation. If you like this video and you want to watch more, check out this one suggested to you by YouTube and check out this one suggested to you by Rhythm Notes. Please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.